Give me some love, my brother. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I'm your brother. Yes, sir. Okay? I'm your brother. Give me some love, my brother. I'm your brother. All right? You my brother. Yes, All right? Yes, Give me some love, my brother. I'm your brother. You my brother. All right? Give me some love, man. I'm your brother. You my brother. Give me some love, King. I'm your brother. You my brother. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hey, you gotta hold it together now. And I know you are. Okay? Okay? So you're a bunch of them leaning on his shoulders, but God got you. Okay? God got you. Okay. I want you to write the number down. So they're gonna honor you. And call somewhere. And then, I'm your brother. Yeah. Hey, I'm your brother. Oh, they're gonna honor me, old street. And you, my brother. Okay. I'm your brother. Okay. Sorry, I gotta see you. You, my brother. Hey, player, player. I'm your brother. You, my brother. Those of you. Love King, I'm your brother. Okay, you're my brother. Okay. You know every every little thing you can do matters. Every little thing you can do matters. If it's nothing but telling another brother. I'm your brother, man. Then we got to do that. We can't have the retaliation. I can't kill you. You kill me. They going to kill him. He going to kill us. And they going to kill... No. All that's got to stop. And we're brothers out here. And we ought to be supporting each other and helping each other. It's a struggle already. The last thing we need is, a, is to be dying to kill each other. Okay? Dying to kill each other. Now, those of you just joining us, we're out here in the Collegeville area. This is World Activist Harry Travis Shoes Turner. You know, I retired from the community activism. And somehow I'm back out here today from calls from my Facebook friends wanting traveling shoes. Will you come out here and be with my family? Because real bullets killed this young man named Quan, 23 years old. Real bullets killed him. This family realizes this, this is not a movie on HBO. This is not a game you buy at Walmart. Real bullets killed this young man. And every tear you saw out here today was real tears. They didn't go buy this stuff from a, a, a gallery who sell toys and novelties. No, these these tears came from broken hearts. Now, the, one of the biggest issues is when it don't happen to you, if it don't affect you, then you don't have any feelings whatsoever. You can just watch the video and go to sleep tonight and have a good night's sleep. Sorry, but I can't do that. I don't know the family. But pain, no matter what color, no matter what form, pain is just pain. Hurting people hurt people. So we gotta heal these hurts. We gotta heal these hurts. Dying to kill each other. It's time to start living. It's time to start promoting life. Start living life. Sad day out here in Collegeville. And I wish I could tell you this would be the last one. I wish I could tell you that. But the reality of the matter is we are living in the end times. And there's going to be killings and murders. But there is also consequences. But these young men shouldn't be going from the jail to prison to the funeral home. From a backyard alley shot up in a car and 
throw it on the side of a road found abandoned in a an abandoned house these young men need to have their life where they can be productive citizens to our society and it's going to take people like myself and others thank god for the mothers who want violence to stop who came out today Apostle Wanda Erskine lost her son 10 years ago, and she have continued to stand by these hurting mothers. And like I said, when it's not you, and you don't feel anything, that's understandable. But at some point, at some point, it affects all of us. Because death and murder ain't too far from your doors. Yes, it is not too far. It was a time when you heard about murders. They was in another state. They was in another city. You had no clue who the people were. Now, look on Facebook and you say to yourself, I know that mama, I know that sister, I know that auntie that's crying. I know these people. So, get down on your knees tonight, people. Get down on your knees tonight and pray. I'm not asking you to come out into the community like Traveling Shoes does. I'm not asking you that. Scare, uh, fear. Everybody can't do this. This is not everybody's assignment. But everybody can get down on their knees and pray. I thank God for how he's blessed me with the community, the community relationships. That I can come into the communities that people have deemed to be so horrible or so terrible. And I come into these communities and I find good mothers. I find good fathers. I find good young kids. Yeah, and in with all of that is you got that one or maybe that two that's not so good, that's not on the right track. But guess what? We're going to always have that. We're going to always have that. So I want to say to you, love today. Love today. You got a young son. He's so excited, he just came out of high school. He got a diploma. I saw the pictures of him in his graduation gown. He's so happy and so excited. Well, tell him, be careful when he go out to celebrate. Be careful to go out and party. And be careful who he's, who, who, he, who he's hanging with. Be careful who, he, who he's with. And then tell him, let you know where he's going. Our young girls, young ladies. They look so cute in their prom dresses, didn't they? Uh-huh. Yeah. Then they walked across the street with an even better strut. Had the diplomas in their hands. Our young ladies, right? Well, of course, they want to turn up. You know, I've been invited to a few graduation parties coming up uh, next weekend. But everybody is not having a graduation party in a safe place. And everybody cannot control the environment where they're having these par uh, parties and where they're celebrating that. So we got to start watching each other's back. And we got to start seeing and noticing people in the wrong place. And then we got to start notifying the right authority. And that's your police department. And no time should you try to take matters into your hand that deal with law. Do the right thing, people. Call the law. And keep yourself out of harm's way. Let's love each other. Let's love each other. A hey, world activist, Harry Traveling Shoes, Preacher Turner. Sorry I couldn't have came to you with some good news tonight. For those of you just joining us, 23-year-old Quan, a young man who loved Alabama. He would not watch another Alabama football game. He would not throw another football, they say Alabama, he would not wear another Alabama football jersey. But somebody decided to take his life. And if you don't think that's sad, then I don't know what you call sad. But God, we love you today. And God, we thank you. So do what you can do for yourself and for your community. And guess what? The Bible says that the wheat and the tail grow together and one day God going to do all the separating. Yes, he is. I don't hot, not out here to judge anybody. God didn't call me to be a judge. He just told me to love, and I say the same to you. Let's love someone. Take your fingers, put them in your pocket, 
and open your heart for more love. I think love's gonna turn it around. I know it is, because God is love. World activist Harry Traveling Shoes Turner to this family and other families who've lost loved ones and teenagers. My heart goes out to you. World activist Harry Traveling Shoes Preacher Turner. Thank you. And God bless you.